Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days, or you can say this is being recorded on the 25th, so 25th through November 1st, okay? Dogs, getting together with friends. So you may be getting together with somebody this week. Pig, beware of greed, beware of greed. Gemini, beware of greed. Beware of greed. So I don't know, maybe you're dealing with a pig or you need to not be greedy in some way. Who knows? Let's see what else we got. What else do we have for Gemini? <laughs> Dogs and a pig. Come on now. I don't know if this is like a... I don't know what it is, but uh, could get dirty. It could get dirty. So anyhow, what else do we got here? What do we have for Gemini? <laughs> I got all kinds of dirty thoughts going through my head, so I don't know what is going on, but it definitely could get dirty. I don't know if there's some sort of money going out down the drain. I think it did come out reverse, so I'm not sure um, if you're gonna be seeing an increase of money. I'm gonna leave it reverse, let's keep it at that. You may be seeing an increase of money. Um, <coughs> Getting together with friends. Beware. Don't be a glutton. Um, hmm. Your prayers have been heard. So your prayers have been heard in some way. I'm not sure what is going on, but it may have something to do with wedding vows. I don't know. I do not know. So. What do we have for Gemini for the week ahead? Your prayers have been heard. I feel like you're going to be seeing an increase. And I feel like it's an increase of abundance. And I don't know if you're going to be having sex, a lot of sex. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's what I got going on in my head. And, and I, I don't know where that's coming from. Um... Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is definitely intimacy. It is um, communication. Communication. This is the rods of love as well. This is a speed, speeding, speeding up. Things speeding up. This is good news arriving. Something. Uh, there's going to be an increase, an increase of communication. Things happening fast. That's the current. That's right now. That's your situation. That's fast forward movement. Maybe you guys are securing something. Some of you may be getting out of a situation fast. You could be getting out of a situation fast, okay? Something is happening and it's happening fast. Knight of Cups. So this has to do with love. It has to do with a relationship. Looking for love, looking for a relationship. Could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with that Eight of Wands. There's going to be an increase of communication, an increase of movement. This does have to do with a relationship. Feelings, expression of feelings, following the heart, following the intuition. Two of Cups, this had definitely has to do with a partnership, a union, love, potential soulmates. Um, four of Swords in the reversed in the past. So the Four of Swords in reverse, exhausted, fed up. We have somebody here that has, they're done, they're done. They're done being isolated. They're done waiting. They're done... Uh, with a time out, they're done, they're done, they're done. They just want to, they just want to live, you know, they want to live, they want to reconnect, they want to um, get out of this slumber. I feel like you've been in a period of frustration, maybe even some poor health. You know, you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and maybe feeling empty and lost inside. I think things are about to change. You're definitely about gonna see some movement. Herophant. I'm not sure if you're getting yourselves into some sort of long-term commitment. There's a higher power involved. I mean, some of you may be getting some sort of guidance. Maybe you're being guided out of a situation. This, whatever's happening, there's a higher power involved that is moving you because the or they're causing movement because of that Eight of Wands. This does have to do with a relationship, no doubt about it, with the Two of Cups and the and the Knight of Cups. I feel like it's very emotional, whatever is happening. Um, 
You need to believe, you need to have faith. This does have to do with commitment. Presently, it's all about a commitment or it's about a marriage. There's gonna be movement, there's gonna be a change. Maybe it's a change in status, a change in your commitment status. Empress reversed, woo. Sun reversed. Nine of swords reversed, eight of coins. And tower, upright, overall outcome. Change, major change, massive change. Whatever's happening, there's gonna be a disruption this week. It is life changing. Be probably a change in a foundation, okay? Could be a living situation, could be your body, okay? There's gonna be a foundational change, okay? Could be probably a change in your living situation. Somebody's moving in, somebody's moving out, something like that, okay? If it's not, that's what I think it is. And, and it could even have to do with children. It could have to do with children. Um, it could have to do with a partner, a partnership of some sort. Um, I feel like whoever you're dealing with is not getting any love. They're not getting any nurturing. There's a lack of a mother's love or there's a lack of nurturing. There's a lack of tender loving care. I mean, the Empress reverse is no love, okay? There's, there could even be some infidelity here or somebody that's not taking care of something. Um, maybe we have some, we may even have somebody here that is not taking care of a child. You know, we have the sun reversed and the empress reversed. I mean, there's a lack of mothering here. So I'm not sure if you, whatever's happening, we have, we have something happening that is not, it's like a, we have an unhealthy situation here. We, have, we either have an unhealthy woman, unhealthy, unhealthy mother or an unhealthy child or something like that. Or we have a female, and it's a feminine, we have a female here that is not taking care of business. She doesn't take care of anything. She doesn't take care of her children. She doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't take care of her man. She doesn't take care of anything. She's very self-centered. So we definitely have a woman here that is not very loving, unfortunately. I mean, the empress in reverse is, is not an empress. Okay, that's not an empress. This is somebody that is very... Uh, selfish very very selfish whoever you're dealing with is giving deep thought to a relationship or you're giving deep thought to a relationship this is about you now you gotta think about the empress reversed you know you gotta remember your value okay if it's you if you are the empress reversed that's in your future position that is remember your value remember your value because an empress in reverse can be a woman that doesn't know her value she may let herself go. She may not take care of things because she has low self-esteem or low self-confidence or she lacked a mother's love when she was a child or something like that. There's there's something going on here. Um, there's I feel like there's some sort of abuse as well. So yeah, I feel like there's some sort of abuse, some sort of mental abuse where it's like verbal abuse. It's like... Uh, we have somebody here that is really trying to scare somebody, maybe even manipulate somebody. Um, we have somebody here that's like, there's, like, there's no child. Somebody may not be able to have a child or they're not getting a child, which may cause a separation. There's something about a mother and a child here. Um, not happy, not happy. So I don't know if there's a conversation about a child because the sun card reverse is not happy. I feel like, I had to push these cats over a little bit. I'm sorry. I feel like you need to... Uh, this is about a partnership, it's about commitment, it's about marriage, it's about, it's about happiness, it's about uh, giving deep thought to a relationship, giving a deep thought to the future, about the future, you know, the future of the relationship, the future of the commitment. I think that you're dealing with somebody that is feeling uncomfortable right now. They may be in a, they may be feeling very uncomfortable. They're going through some sort of disruption within themselves about maybe a partnership. Um, your prayers have been heard. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is has been almost like stagnant. You know, they've been undecided. They've been taking their time making a decision. I feel like you're about to see some positive movement. I think you're about to see positive change. I feel like I feel like uh, your prayers have been heard. If you've been wanting to have a baby, 
you know, and this person's been pushing you off, you probably, you know, maybe that's what the change is. I do see positive change. Maybe the person's going to start to put in effort, you know, they're, they're going to, you're going to be shocked, put it that way. We do have a shock here. The overall energy is a shock, which is the tower card. So you're going to be shocked by some sort of major life change. Okay. Your life is about to change as you know it. Um, there's been some sort of darkness here. We have somebody here that's been in an unhealthy, unhappy relationship. Um, they may have not been putting in much effort. I feel like they're going to start putting in effort. It's like they've been giving a lot of thought to it. It feels like they're good. They, they're, they have, and I feel like they're getting some sort of, of, uh, I don't know, it's like light with that tower because tower, it sheds the light. Some light is being shed. I feel like, and this is my second uh, Gemini reading, and we did have the tower card in this deck right here. Um, but it said building a new foundation, a strong foundation. You, I feel like you're going to be building a strong foundation with somebody. It's like you're going to be building a new foundation with somebody. And then right underneath it is the eight of coins. So I feel like you're going to, some of you are going to be moving. You're going to be moving somewhere. Or there's going to be a change in your living situation. Somebody could be moving in with you. And it starts a new foundation. There's something about a new foundation here. Um, but that, what is this empress reversed? Grieving over a loss. Five of cups. Empress reversed. Five of cups. Grieving. Deep sorrow. Mourning a loss. Of a, of a feminine, there's something about a mother here, um, or a wife, or a girlfriend that isn't very nurturing, so I don't know if you're still mourning, or if you're mourning a loss, or you're grieving over a loss, there is a loss here, could be a, I mean, the Empress reverse, could be a termination, it could have something to do with a child, it's, 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 it's in despair, it is in despair, somebody is in despair, they're in despair. They're in despair. Maybe it's a loss of a love, you know. Maybe the Empress in reverse is not. It's like you're, you're in some sort of pain. The Empress reverse is in pain. Pain over a loss. Pain over a rejection. I think that's where you're at. You may be in pain over, a, over some sort of, you know, rejection. I think that whoever you're dealing with is giving deep thought to whatever your request is. They are giving deep, deep thought to it. Uh, and they're probably not happy with the current circumstances. They're not happy at all. They're not. Whoever you're dealing with is not happy. Anyhow, um, somebody's going to be putting in effort. They're going to be trying hard to make something work. Six of Cups. I feel like we do have children here and we do have a soulmate connection. I feel like we have a soulmate connection here. I feel like there's reminiscing, there's feelings, there's deep feelings. Somebody may know that they have a soulmate connection with somebody. I feel like there could be a reunion. There could be a reconciliation with somebody that, uh, I don't know if you've separated from this person for some reason. I do feel like there's... there's uh, Building, building new memories, building a new foundation, building new memories with somebody. I feel like there's a, somebody maybe also going home, going to a new home. Something about a new home. Major disruption of a foundation, major life change. I mean, the tower is a necessary evil. Something is falling apart. Somebody's false sense of security is falling apart. It's falling apart for a reason. It's falling apart for a reason. Somebody may be going home. They may be going back to their home or they're going to a new home. I feel like there's a change in a living situation. There is some sort of sadness here. There is. With the Empress reversed and the Five of Cups, they're both together. That is definitely sadness. It's sadness, okay? This is like sad. It's grieving over a loss. So it is. It is. So we may have somebody here that's dealing with a feminine that's not really an empress or something like that. And there's been some sort of separation, you know. I feel like there is a partnership here. I feel like we have somebody here that is reconnecting with their past. They're going to be, they're going to be, I feel like it's a change of living. It's a change in living situation. Um, putting in effort. 
Somebody's going to be putting in effort. They're going to be. I think you're going to be making some memories or something like that. It's like creating memories. I mean, that is what that is. So I'm, I don't know what is going on. It feels like you're going to be creating some memories with somebody. Somebody that you're very familiar with. If you're single, then this, is, this could be somebody new. I don't know. But the tower is a shock. It is a surprise. Going back to the past or remembering what love feels like. That could be that as well with the Six of Cups. I feel like there's, you're going to be surprised by something. What is this tower? Moon reverse, a reality checks, truth, truth being revealed. Somebody's going to be getting the truth revealed. Somebody's coming out of hiding. Something that has been hidden is about to be revealed. It could be another connection. So I, I'm not sure if somebody has been dealing with somebody from their past and it has been hidden and it gets revealed. And this could be a past life soulmate. You know, it doesn't mean that they've been with this person ever before. I feel like there's a past life soulmate here that you've been with in a past life and that there's some sort of reconnection or that whoever you're dealing with is connecting with a past life or they're connecting with their past or they're going back to the past. And some people don't get it. They don't get it about the past. They think it's somebody that they automatically slept with. Mm -mm. No. past can be home it can be anybody that you dealt with it can be somebody that's just very familiar to you there is a familiarity here there is a soulmate connection somebody's going to be putting in effort into a soulmate connection that they were i feel like they were disturbed by or they were uh ignoring or they were confused you know they were in denial about now it's like this is this is the truth this is the truth whatever it is your prayers have been heard you're about to be shocked you're about to get surprised you're there a surprise is coming a surprise is coming creating new memories it may have something to do with a child you know, I feel like we have something to do with a child here. It feels like creating new memories with somebody. And I don't know if they have a child or you have a child or you're going to have a child or something about a child. Creating memories with the children. Something about children. Found. Ah, there's a foundation here. There is a foundation Anyhow, your prayers have been heard. Something that you have been praying for is about to come to fruition. You're going to be shocked, whatever it is. Good luck. 